Hey guys, today we're going to use Affinity Photo to turn your photo into sketch-like image. Keep in mind, I post two tutorials like this per week, so please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Alright, here I am inside Affinity Photo. I already upload my photo here, as you can see. Next, I'm going to simply duplicate this layer, so I got copy of it. Let's rename this so we know what it is. It's copy. And now we need to invert colors on this copy. So go up, layers, and invert at the very top. Now we got kind of like negative picture. We need to change blending mode for this negative image to color dodge. And as a result, you will see white color only, something like this probably. Let's fix that by applying Gaussian Blur to this negative image. So Blur menu at the bottom and Gaussian Blur. Okay, and now we can use this slider to blur this layer. By doing that, we will see kind of like the edges of the original image below. That's what we need. So play with the slider so you can see only edges and match the layer. And we almost there. Now we just need to get rid of colors. So let's go to adjustments over here on the left from layers in my case. And then we will apply black and white adjustment to desaturate this whole image. Load this one. You can also play with sliders a little bit to make the image a little bit darker, a little bit sharper. And for this one, for this adjustment layer, do not match this one. This will give us a strange result if we match this directly into the negative one. Do not match. Take a look. If you click merge, it's not what we need. So undo and simply right click on it. Right click on your adjustment panel and merge visible. So it will create kind of copy of what we can see right now. We can get rid of adjustment layer and we can get rid of the negative photo already we got original one and this sketch like one it's white with dark edges perfect last thing to do is to add some texture to it so i'm making duplicate of it now i use filters to add noise noise add noise let's add noise to this duplicate layer maybe 80 percent will do apply and now i'm going to kind of blur this noise, make this lo noise a longer, more like a pencil strokes. So let's apply motion blur to blur this noise, make them more like a pencil strokes. And now we can change the angle of the movement and apply the radius, maybe four pixels in my case. All right, I can match that in and I end up with kind of a copy with nice texture on it. Let's make it sharper. So go to filters again, sharpen and we will use clarity filter on it. And that's more like it. 100% definitely apply. And we end up having this uh, like uh, texture, like someone used pencil to sketch shadows around the image little lines everywhere that's what we need we can change blending mode for this layer with texture i suggest staying at the top here with multiply is the safest choice for mo most cases in multiply we're just taking darker colors and multiplying them with the layer below so multiply you can reduce opacity a little bit if you feel like you got too much texture all right and for most cases that will do that will be the end of the project but in our case we're going to make one more layer with texture so let's duplicate this one more time this is our texture one and this is our outline that we made from the original image so let's duplicate this outline and we will create one more layer with texture so we will kind of blend two layers with different texture same process we're adding noise to it 
then we're going to use the same blur filter but this time we will pick different direction for the motion so like someone apply a pencil stroke but from different angle maybe like here all right and as you may remember we can match this in and our last step will be to add more clarity to this texture so let's apply clarity on this layer as well go to filters sharpening and clarity so it's much stronger texture and now we can kind of blend it with the rest of the picture as we want let me just reset rotation all right and now we can rename this layer texture too so we know what is what and let's blend it in with the rest of the project so let's turn on visibility of our texture one and outline and change blending mode again it's very safe to stay at the top of this list for this project purpose if you go to overlay you will also kind of recalculate white colors so you make the contrast like too strong so let's go back to the top here something in this area something around multiply or something very similar to multiply I will stick with multiply for it reduce opacity slightly and for this second texture I'm going to mask out part of it so it's not covering the whole image so we're going to add mask to this layer by clicking this mask button now we got this white layer below by painting the black color of this white layer below we're going to hide part of it so I'm going to use basic very soft brush like this the color is of course black so we can hide part of this layer using this mask and now I'm going to paint over at edges around here background to make the uh, texture lighter and on those areas over here as well as you can see I'm kind of like removing hiding the texture just in some areas the areas I paint with black color all right around here as well a little bit on her face maybe it's too strong texture around her eyes so we got the secondary texture layer but we kind of hiding this second texture here and there to make it a little bit softer in some places all right that's nice and we're going to do the same trick for outline layer now and for this one we will kind of make it softer at the edge of the image not inside but here all around the edge all right small little changes to for better result cool seems like we are almost ready if you want you can also experiment with contrast and brightness it's kind of depends on your image in my case it's all right but I can I guess I can make it a little bit darker just a little bit so there's always option to adjust that in our adjustment panel all right and final touch something optional you can also apply a texture the paper texture so it will more you will have more like realistic look let's say so to apply paper texture on this image we're going to search for it in our built-in stock panel so search for your stock panel in my case it's over here and I can type paper and simply drag and drop this texture inside my project drop it here it will be probably too, too large, they're quite big images, so we're going to zoom out a little bit so we can see it all and in my case rotation is necessary and then scaling down using move tool. If you are happy with the size and position of your texture, right click on it and rasterize and trim. Let's rename this to texture and 
the last final touch is to simply adjust the blending mode for our texture. So again, we stay at the very top here using dark blending modes like multiply, or color burn, stuff like that. So let's stick with multiply or maybe linear burn, very similar effect and adjust the opacity. Not too strong. Okay, I think that's it. We got our paper texture at the top. Now we can drag the original image here so we can compare the original one was this one. And by applying some effects, we get this effect look like sketch with nice pencil texture on it and also paper texture. Cool. I hope you enjoy learning with me in this project. As I mentioned, if you'd like to learn more about Affinity Photo and also Affinity Designer, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye.